everyone, Heather here. I came on to show you how I use my swing um, digital backdrops. So I believe this one is in the um, free digital backdrops in the um, membership area. And I just wanted to get, um, show you how I use them. So I actually set up the baby um, sitting on the bean bag. I have the swing. Um, and have them sitting on it so it looks like they're actually on the swing. Um, but you could probably have the baby sitting on some sort of a bench. Um, something like that would work as well. So I'll just go ahead and show you how I'm going to put him onto the swing digital. So take your square marquee tool, make a copy of your photo here with control C and then paste it on the other image, control V. I'm gonna first turn this layer into a smart object, so I'll right click and convert to smart object. Now I'm gonna turn the opacity down. Um, so do not turn the opacity down before you turn it into a smart object because it'll keep it um, with the opacity down. So you always wanna do the smart object first um, and then change the opacity. All right, so I'm gonna hit Control T to bring up my transform tool. And just resize him so that his swing is the same size as the digital that he's on. So a little smaller. And I'm just trying to get the um, the bottom of the swing to line up. I can't seem to see. There it is. So maybe he's a little smaller. So right about there looks good. So I'll hit enter. And I'm going to bring the opacity back up on this layer. And I'm going to put a layer mask on it. So I'm going to click this little camera icon and it'll bring up a white layer mask and you'll want to invert that so you just hit control i to invert it and then we're just going to take our brush and it needs to be a normal soft round brush and i have my hardness at zero i have my opacity on my brush at 100 and i'm just going to paint him in to the digital. So I have a black brush right now, but you need a white brush. So um, if you hit X, it'll toggle bet between your brushes here. And I'll just paint him into the digital. So don't worry about that white right now. Um, we can easily go back in and fix it. Right now, we just want to get him into the digital. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to zoom in. And I'm going to toggle back to my um, black brush by hitting X. And now I'm just going to paint out some of this. And I'm just going to keep going back and forth between my white and black brush until I get it the way I like it.
So the trick that I find using um, your brush to blend, um, when you're going around your subject, you really want to use a small, small brush. Um, because I see that a lot of people, when they do composites, um, they're using kind of a larger soft brush. And what happens with that is when you're trying, I'll just show you, when you're trying to blend it with a large brush, you can see it's kind of falling into the subject. And we don't want there to be that fall off um, because then it's just not going to look realistic. People are going to know that you painted them in. And even though, you know, a lot of composites are, are not um, meant to be realistic, you still want them to blend in and the subject blend in. Um, so I just find that using, I'm going to hit control Z to go back here. I just find that using a really small brush around the subject is the best thing to do with blending. With this wing, we want to completely take out um, the shadow underneath, but not up on the on this the swing. We want to keep this the shadow on the swing, um, but take it out underneath it because then it'll look like it's floating, or like his legs are dangling off the swing. All right, so we got all the white out, but now as you can see underneath him, there is a little bit of, um, you can see where I've painted that out. So, <clears throat> you know what, I think I missed some of him. So let me just see here. Oh yeah, I missed a lot of him. So let's paint him back in, oops. I'm going to actually make a new layer, so I'm going to go control alt, con uh, shift control alt E, we'll create a new layer over top, and I'm going to start um, blending it with the clone tool here, sorry the patch tool. So anything that I see needs blending in, I'm just going to patch it. Down here. Just get rid of that hard line and it won't be so noticeable. And then I'm also going to get rid of this knot in it as well. So I'm just going to um, oh, still use my patch tool and I'm just going to draw like a little square around it and just patch it out. Except actually do a good job. There we go. Deselect. And the other one isn't showing so we'll just leave that. All right. So now what I would do is just go in and f touch up the um, other adjustments I make on my images and I'll be all done. Um, so I hope this is helpful and kind of shows you how you can use those swing backdrops um, 
the clients love them. Uh, it definitely, when I first posted the first swing um, image, I've had three clients following uh, booking me specifically because they want the swing so it's um it's really something that people enjoy and like so I hope that you get a lot of use out of the digitals and that this is helpful see you in the next video bye